Welcome back. It's OST time again. This time, however, I wanted to uh, add a little something to the shrink rip that I thought was interesting. Uh, there's an additional uh, counter sheet that comes with the game uh, for Kickstarter backers and those, I believe, that added it on uh, as an optional. And you can see... Ooh, we're really well zoomed in there, aren't we? Sorry about the air conditioner there. <clears throat> but you can see some of the units, some of the counters, some of the extra... Uh, Vehicles, etc. May well be more of the same. I don't know specifically, but uh, there you have it. Yeah, because I haven't really read this in detail. I just got this second package today. For some reason, my Kickstarter expansion stuff, uh, add-on stuff, did not come in the uh, original box. But whatever, that's here now. Okay, old school tactical scenarios for Stalingrad. So, you know, I'm thinking, well, this looks kind of small, but check it out. Two, four, six. And this looks like the continuation six. So six scenarios for, uh, you know, my crippled dog is trying to get down the stairs. That's not gonna be a good thing. For the Stalingrad 42, 43. Uh, expansion and then also there is a uh, additional scenarios and I don't I haven't even looked at this don't know what's in it yet now I have a cat in the room as well well it's just all going on in this room right now Let me zoom out one two three four five six and this, I believe, is the, is the uh, campaign that was promised as part of the, part of the, the, St the Stalingrad map stuff. Uh, and Defala, uh, two additional, well, one additional scenario. Oh no, these are the, these are the camp, this is the campaign day, day one, picking, you pick your sectors, depending on which sector you focus on, stuff happens and then that's gonna impact uh, your reinforcements for the, for the following day two and day three. Okay, so I guess you probably want to see <clears throat> the Stalingrad map, right? Well, let's do that. Look at that bad boy right there. And uh, I gotta tell you, If nothing else, just a quick glance at this will probably tell you this alone is worth the price of admission. You need to read some rules to see what these red triangles and blue triangles mean in terms of uh, terrain. Obviously a lot of devastated terrain on the map. I'll see if I can zoom in for you a little bit. Let's pick a spot over here. Give you a feel for that. I mean, you could, you could literally take <coughs> these hexes. I think uh, what nearly an inch across, or something like that. You could take little little minis and play on this, or you could use any tactical game. But of course, the game that's going to look the sexiest because it's the right scale and everything is this game OST. Right? Look at that bad boy. Those are going to look awesome. These counters are going to look awesome on this map. All right. Let me just zoom out so you can see what we're talking about here. Don't tell me that doesn't get your wood wet. Get your wood wet? That's not what you're supposed to say. sexy this is fabulous now I don't know anything about the scenarios that were selected or chosen I don't know much about the uh, historical accuracy I do know that it's going to be fun and I can tell you uh, we've got different levels of structure I see 
That's what the uh, colored triangles are for. Anyway, all of those different uh, types of terrain, these all have a value on the map. We've got debris, shell holes, road, and open. So this is an open hex, shell holes, debris, obviously rubble over here, right? <coughs> That's the Kickstarter expansion that uh, you uh, hopefully you ordered. All right, my friends, later.